Welcome everyone to Vlogmas in July. That's right, a video every day for 31 days, presented by Nomad Internet. As a Christmas fanatic, this is a great way for me to be cheerful and thankful all month long. Opie, you better be a good boy this July. Santa Paws is watching. Tara, no more sneaking into catnip sack. Santa Paws will bring you coal. Thanks for joining me this month, guys, and have a jolly old month of July. Yes, good. Yeah, it's 11.58. Good morning, Vlogmas in July continues a video every single day. Hope you're doing well, guys. We're gonna take a chance, gonna take a risk. Gonna be a high of 64 degrees today with a 25% chance of rain. That's okay, I got tater tot in tow behind me. We're gonna go up into the hills today. We're doing it. And by the way, you know, scouting this out with Tater Tot a couple days ago really paid off because I kind of know what to expect. We're going to be taking back roads like this for about 30 miles until we get to 101 for a little bit, and then we'll find that forest road. But I also wanted to say that my Google Maps did the same exact thing as last time, put me out in the middle of nowhere randomly. It's not good. I don't know if it's a Google Maps issue or a Verizon issue or an iPhone issue, but man, I've really got to keep paying attention because <laughs> it wants to take me to the middle of nowhere <laughs> and just dump me off in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> uh, come on, sunshine. Burn through those clouds. Whatever I film today will still be uploaded tomorrow because I'm, I'm probably either going to take the car out or I may only stay one night up here. I don't know. How can I say that? I have no idea what I'm going to do yet. But either way, I'm not going to break the video a day routine. Somehow we will find a way. All right, he's slowing down. The pavement ends here and my oh my, there's a big pothole down there. <laughs> Full of rain. Now the adventure begins. At least it's a little wider right here, but holy cow, there are a lot of potholes to avoid. It's a full-time job avoiding all these. Uh-oh, I'm not gonna be able to avoid all these. You just gotta go really slow. Whoa, Nomad Internet. <laughs> holy cow. Good stabilization on this camera, but the RV is rocking like crazy. Holy cow. Hopefully this ends soon. Look at this mess. It's like a minefield out here. <laughs> There's no way to avoid it. Poor tater tot back there. <laughs> Ooh. It's gonna be a long drive today. Just taking it uh, slow and easy through all these potholes. Don't know how I feel about this, guys. I've camped here. You uh, get the feeling they don't want us back to camp in here anymore? <laughs> get a little motorcycle through here maybe but uh look at this i mean i've camped back here guys yeah I, I had miranda back here but um well you know what it could just be a staging area like they just dumped a bunch of loads of rock to fill up all the uh, potholes and fix the road out there eventually but uh yeah no more camping in this spot let's not jump to conclusions and say that it's going to be like this at all my other places i've camped along the wainuchi Hopefully, fingers crossed, that's not the case, and they're just getting ready to uh, fix the roads soon, one day in the future. Yeah. All right, back in Frida. I love this combo. It looks so funny, and it's unique. I've never seen a Class C towing a smart car. All right, just checking out this bridge down here. I hear water, I'm trying to see the creek. I think that's the Wainuchi River. Ugh, go over the edge. Yeah, right there. I see water way down there. But anyway, reason I stopped on this bridge, beautiful little view. And uh, look, there's the lake down there, guys. Glorious. Beautiful. Ah. <laughs> Somebody got it. Somebody got my magical spot. Looks like they're going for the day exploring, but, um, oh my gosh, bummer. Well, um, never been up there. I, I want to go down here, but I don't trust it and I don't. 
I'm gonna unhook Tater Tot and go scout it out. I'll just take the car out of tow mode here real quick. Turn battery back on, foot on the brake, turn the key on, wait for neutral to reset on the dash there. It says neutral, put it into park, take out the key, close the door and hit the lock button. Now we're good to go because I know there's a campground down here of sorts. I've never camped at it, but I know I've, I wanna say I've taken my e-bike down here and looked at it and basically decided that, oh, this isn't gonna work. Like I wouldn't be able to fit or something. We did just pass a sign that says discover pass required. It's not a dedicated like actual campground though. It's kind of like a dispersed campground. And what do we got here? A big lake. Uh-oh. It may not look like much to you, but good thing I brought Tater Tot down here because there's a huge dip. See that? And then my, these tires would be here. The other tires would be here, but the RV would be tilted at like a 10% lean going through here. Darn it. Cause uh, there's a tent camper in there. I see the orange tent. A couple other roads here that go through. I'm still gonna bring Tater Tot through. Oh, yeah, Frida. Frida would not do well here. Uh, this would also be a no-go right here. Otherwise, once you get over here, if you can get your RV through, there's a nice sight right there with a little fire ring. And a rainbow rock if you're into that sort of thing. Actually, I'll be honest, this little campground area here, these kind of sites aren't nearly as good as that one free campsite with the view of the river where that teardrop thing is. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. What about back there? Although there's nothing pretty about it. I could, I could walk from my RV to here, Wainuchi River down there. Just, yeah, okay. It's tricky though, so I need to drive back to the RV. No. Try something else because I was thinking if we drive back and then another RV passes me while I'm hooking up tater tot they're liable to just take this campsite right so I'm gonna park the car right here so the RV can still get around roll the windows up <laughs> lock it up and walk back and hopefully hopefully that's enough to say that I'm I'm gonna be there um, but the cool thing is, as I walk back, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get credit on my Apple Watch for uh, steps and stuff. And then if I pass anybody, I'm just gonna stop them. If there happens to be an RV or a camper van or something, man, that water looks great. I'll just tell them, hey, hey, just so you know, I'm, I'm camping down there where, where, the, where the little smart car is at. Think that'll work? I think it's worth a shot. All right, as we get closer to the bridge that you first crossed at, look at this campsite here. <sighs> See uh, two tents down there. That is an amazing campsite on the river. I'm gonna go up to the bridge and peek down here. Look over the edge here. Oh yeah, there's somebody down there. Oh, that's the guy that was walking. I don't see a vehicle down there, but he is definitely, definitely occupying that space. And he's right on the, hey bud. Right on the river there. Look at that view. A little campfire right there. All right, well, we got Frida right around the corner here. 
Let's look over this side and see how clear the water is. <laughs> Definitely very, very clear and clean. All right. I finally get to use my new awning out here. Boy, that is exciting, huh? <laughs> All right, deja vu. Over the bridge we go with Frida. Yeah, that's a good campsite down there. He's lucky. I'm going to keep an eye on that one in case I start seeing him pack up and leave. <laughs> There's Tater Tot. And we're still good. Nobody came from this direction and stole it. Let me decide which way I want to have my door facing. I'll get back to you once I get parked and comfortable over here. left a little small fire here but uh this kind of stuff well you want to know what gets this place shut down guys this trashy crap let me catch you leaving stuff like this in a national forest let me catch you you scumbags <laughs> well looks like there's a little trail up here I'm probably just gonna find more garbage but let's go see what's on the other side here wow Wow, it is so green. Man. And mossy. We're not in a rainforest, but it sure looks like we're back in a rainforest, you know? All right, let's go check and see if I have any service or internet, but even if I don't, I'm still gonna stay here a few days. I'll just take Tater Tot to town to upload. I just keep the battery out of it. I don't use the battery too often unless I'm traveling with it. I just plug it right in without a battery. That'll start up here in just a moment. We'll find out. I'm just covering up my password there. Uh, if you can see at the very top of that circle, there's a little X through all the bars. It's an X there. So, um, unfortunately, no, no service. But I've got the rooftop air, not air conditioner on. I got the fan running on the roof, if you can hear it behind me. But, um, you know, without service, it uh, just makes everything so much more peaceful. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm going to take Tater Tot out probably tonight to go upload today's video for tomorrow, I think. I don't know yet. But let's look at the river again, see if we can find a way down. There's literally a path right. I was standing over there. There's literally a path right down. <laughs> Might be kind of slippery if it rains, a little muddy down here, but there is a, a nice path and it looks like a deep section over there too. Walk out onto this log right here. Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, look, it's got that green tint to it. Uh-huh. Not too bad, guys. Look at this place. Look at the fog up on the mountains over there. Ridiculously gorgeous. Man. Thumbnail picture. <laughs> I know Opie's out already. Let's go see if uh, Tara's come out from underneath the chair. I see Tara. I would say she usually takes about 10 minutes after we stop and I pull the key out. She has to really know that we're done driving before Tara really pops out. Hey, Opie. Hey, Tara, Tara. I know, you meowing. Yeah, we'll go outside. We will. Yeah, we will, Opie. Well, I've been editing this video, and I didn't think this was going to be a very long video if I were to leave right now and go upload what I have, but I'm already at 15 minutes right now, so actually I am going to load the car with everything, and uh, we'll record a couple clips, and I guess go try to find some internet to keep the daily vlogs going. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're all alarmed. All the cameras are on. Uh, yet... There is still some trust involved here, and um, I can't stop anybody, but um, I've taken enough precautions that um, this is the risk involved in uploading a video every day. I'm bringing uh, Nomad Internet and my laptop with me to upload. On this first day here, we're just gonna have to find out how far I need to go uh, before I can upload a video, and hopefully not all the way back to Montesano, right? 
So I may pull off a couple times and check my Nomad internet and Verizon just to see. At least Tater Tot is so nimble that it's much easier to avoid the potholes. And it's not as rough either. So I can drive quite a bit faster on these back roads. I believe it's about 30 miles to concrete. And again, I'm gonna keep an eye on this one here because they may not stay long. If they leave, I may pack up and grab this spot on the river. I might, I don't know. It won't fix my internet issue, my connectivity. I wish I didn't, I wish I didn't have to upload for like three or four days, but um, I mean, I also wanna share this with you and I don't think I can just stop posting on Instagram, Patreon, and YouTube for four days. I don't think that would work after I've promised that I'm gonna do a video every single day. So if nothing else, if this video won't upload, if it's just taking too long, I may just have to post like a community post or something and say I might not be able to do a video every single day. Whoa, potholes. Careful. This way, that way. Okay. Cool. All right, we're off the dirt road now and I'll just keep driving, keeping an eye on Nomad Internet plugged in. And then we got so AT&T there, Verizon there, and I'll just keep checking. Maybe one of these high points over here will find some service. There's the road I was just on. I pulled off because all of a sudden it popped up one bar of Verizon LTE. However, Nomad Internet, AT&T still disconnected. Let's try this. Do a speed test here. Uh-oh, it can't even find the provider. May not really have service. And they gave us the error code. That was false. It still says we have one bar of LTE, but that is false. Figured that was too good to be true. Just, uh, uh, 22 miles away from camp, so hopefully I don't have to go to all the way to Montesano, but I keep checking. Uh-oh. Is this... Oh my gosh. Well, this is probably on its way back to camp in the RV with the kitties. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Messaging with my buddy Andrew here with still one bar of Verizon and no... AT&T Nomad Internet. So this one's not working, but I'm gonna be able to use my hotspot on my phone and upload this video. Just off the road, there's a little berm right there. I'm gonna get this video uploaded. All right, I just did a little test. I was actually uploading a, an older video, but I wanted to make sure it went to 2%. It just went to 2%, so I know I have upload here. I'm gonna pin this spot. It's about 40 minutes from camp, less that 10, or including the 10 miles of potholes there. So let me add these clips to my video here, and then we'll get this uploaded, and then I'll go back to camp, okay? So you guys be well. Um, I'm gonna start my next video off as soon as I get back to camp. So it, it will include some night stuff tomorrow, and uh, we'll see how this works. You guys be well from Terranopia and I. We will see you again tomorrow from the Olympic National Forest.